Okay, so brought my companion here. I think he can actually read it better than I can, and he'll probably figure it out. Here you go, Curly. You can read it. You done? You read it already? What? Oh, the straps. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Curly. Thank you. He just told me how to do it. I, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out now. Run. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Today, we're gonna go ahead and assemble this. The Lux Trunk Bike by Allen Sports. So I just see some little, some of these little tines here. Just taking these out, like the uh, zip tines. This little knife here is just kind of hard. I like to make things harder on myself. instructions at all whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Pretty simple. I'm going to figure it out. Hub in it. Okay, so I brought my companion here. I think he can actually read it better than I can, and he'll probably figure it out. Here you go, Curly. You can read it. You done? You read it already? What? Oh, the straps. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Curly. Thank you. He just told me how to do it. I, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out now. Okay, right, so out of the box, there's a little screw here. Um, there's like a little metal thing here. I'll show you This little metal thing you just have to pretty much hook it up. It's it's not even installed yet It's just kind of on there This little metal piece you just kind of stick it into a little hole right there. It's just kind of dangling um, I Just actually read when I bought this thing I looked at the Amazon description about it and it didn't have anything about cars um, Other people are saying that it is but I did notice it in the box It's back here all specifications for each car um, well, my mine isn't on there. Mine's actually on there, but it says the Corolla, which is what it's to the Corolla. But it's not. It says spoil without the spoiler only. So this one has a small spoiler. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just make it work. I'm gonna find out how to make it work somehow. Um, don't do what I do. Try to kind of see, um, find the specifications beforehand. Uh, but again, I'm gonna make it work. So, but so far, you know, it's just this little hook here installing it. And I'm gonna kind of strap in and see how it looks and, and just kind of see how it feels. And again, I'll try to make it work somehow. What I'm doing now is I'm just getting these two top buckles that are on here. I'll see this one's still wrapped up here. I'm just kind of putting it on here on the top part of the trunk. And then just go ahead and, you know, just get, kind of just make sure it's not too loose pretty much.
All right, guys, so I actually saw that these were labeled, uh, so it really helped right here. So I'll just put two on the top and just make sure, you know, they were tight right here. And two also on the sides, again, labeled, and then one just in the bottom piece there. And yeah, I'm gonna try to see with the bike, see if it works. All right, so a bit of a struggle, but I figured it out. Uh, all the st stuff are kind of done. I just kind of tightened everything myself just so it won't be loose at all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, bike on there and then kind of drop it around a little bit just to see if it won't fall off. So looking at it right away, you have vision whatsoever uh, when it comes to your reverse camera. Uh, that was really expected, but just kind of thought I'd let you guys know just so you can know you would be aware, especially if you kind of rely on it a lot. I I really don't. Um, I kind of use my mirrors. I'm kind of old school. All right, so I'm all set. And I have some pointers here. I zip tied this part, just the extra, um, the loose wires here, the loose straps, sorry. Make sure this here is always, these padding are right there. This is easy to scratch your car if you're not careful. So that's a, that's a good note right there. I think it works with my car, even though it said it didn't, but I think it's fine.